Alicia here at The Honey Company and today I'm going to talk to you about mason jar feeders. So a mason jar feeder is just what it sounds like. It's a honeybee feeder made out of a mason jar. This is just a normal two-piece canning lid, right? And we use old ones because you don't need it to seal or anything. Um, and then we just use the edge of our hive tool or a pocket knife and we poke holes in the lid. So what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna fill it with honey syrup or sugar syrup. So we want more honey or sugar than water when we're making this mixture. We're just gonna put it into the jar. So this is useful. Um, it's a really cheap, inexpensive way to do this and it um, is hard for other colonies to rob this kind of heater, feeder. So beekeepers use this a lot, especially on a commercial scale. Okay, let me show you how to use it. If this were a colony full of bees, of course this is a nuke box, it's small. Pretend like it's a 10 frame high, maybe that's what you're using, that's okay. Um, but what you do is you fill the jar with sugar syrup, you put the lid and the ring on, and then um, you tip it upside down. And at first someone's gonna come out, but then eventually it's gonna um, hold that water up there by vacuum seal. And then it may get a few drips, but the bees um, can stick their mouth parts in there and take up some of that syrup. Now, normally when you have a hive, you have just a solid lid of some kind. This is kind of an older one. But when you're using a mason jar feeder, you're gonna want to do it one of two ways. The first way is to get an inner cover or a lid with a hole in it like this. Um, this one has screens and fancy stuff for some other projects, but the thing we're focusing on is this hole. And so what we do is we put, you know, if there were bees and on frames in this box, then what we do is we put this on. This hole is sitting here in the middle. We turn this upside down and we'd rest it there like that. Now we can leave it like this, um, but sometimes we want to protect it. It can get knocked over. Like if you're keeping your bees with livestock or other animals, you may want to protect it. So we do that by just taking an empty box, a shell, if you will, or a shim, sometimes we call it. We're gonna put that on top. So the jar is in here, it's freestanding, right? And then we put the lid on top of that. That this lid, you see it has a hole here. You wanna put some grass there or tape or something to close that up. So you'll see it both ways. You'll see it with the shim and you'll also see it here like this. And then it's really easy to come along and refill this jar. You just take it off, unscrew the lid, pour in more syrup, tip it in, and you're done. So it's easy. If you have a lot of colonies, you can go down the line and fill the mason jars really quickly without disturbing the bees. So there's one more way that you can use this um, mason jar feeder, and that is you can just put it on top of the frames. So if you can see in here, there a box and there's top bars of these frames here and what you can do is just tip this upside down and set it on top of the frames that's if you don't have an inner cover or um you know with a hole in it then this is a way you can do it without um without that piece of equipment but what you would do instead is because you don't want to leave this open you know especially in the cold like if you're feeding in the spring you don't want this to be open to the elements so in this one, we would definitely want to use this extra box. We could just set that on top, put the lid on, and we are good to go. So we wouldn't want to leave this on too long like this, though, because the bees could, since they have access um, to this box, they could start building some rogue comb in there. But it's a good way to do it for the short term. All right, thanks for joining us, and we hope that you'll try a mason jar feeder. Let us know what you think. All right, if you like this tip about feeding bees using a mason jar feeder, then I invite you to sign up for one of our online courses. You can find those at thehoneycompany.com slash course dash options, and I'll put the link below. Um, it's a really great resource for feeders and all kinds of beekeeping topics and we've worked really hard on them and know that they'll help you be a better beekeeper if you take them. Okay, thanks. See ya.